Oh, we've got a couple of superstars ready in the McCafe. Try McCafe's finest barista made a coffee ever from the Brisbane Lions, Sabrina Frederick Traub and Caitlin Ashmore. Girls, congratulations. What a result last night. Oh, thank you. We're just pretty happy with the win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the talking points out of it last night was one of your teammate, Nat Exons, her, her haircut, but also her performance as well. Pretty special. Yeah. The um. haircut it came along <laughs> where Kate McCarthy basically said to her, can I please cut your hair? And she was like, yeah, of course, and came back with a mullet and she absolutely rocked it. And I think everyone's talking about it now and it, it looks good on her. She's, uh, she's going to shave it, I believe, for the world's greatest shave, obviously for the Leukaemia Foundation. But judging by that vision, do you reckon she should keep it? Oh, I don't know. It's for a good cause, obviously, and, and she's a good sport. So it looks good now, but I'm sure she'll, she'll rock no hair as well. So it'll be pretty good. You're obviously doing a lot of work, Sabrina, in the multicultural space as one of the AFL's multicultural ambassadors. How do you enjoy that work? Oh, it's honestly the best feeling in the world. Um, playing football, coming from a different country and playing football and it giving me everything. Um, it's nice to give back and, and relate to those kids that, that just want to play the game and enjoy it and feel like they belong. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And Caitlin, the modelling career is kicking off you. We've seen on your Instagram post that you're, you know, quite the model. How do you see yourself looking into that? Oh my god, I would not say that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do something different, but modelling is not going to be a career choice for me. <laughs> Love a bit of banter between two. <laughs> there it is, uh, looking very good with Dan Menzel, of course. Uh, more with the girls from the Brisbane Lions very shortly. What a win it was last night for the Brisbane Lions. You can see that they enjoyed that. Welcome back to Women's Footy, your home of AFLW. And as we said, a couple of Brisbane guns with us this morning, Sabrina frederick Traub and also Caitlin Ashmore. Caitlin, firstly to you, you enjoyed that one last night? Yeah, no, it was really good. Obviously, we um, come off the loss to the dogs last week. So, we, um, yeah, we went hard at it and, yeah, we got the result, which is really good. Let's take a look at the result from last night. A low-scoring game for Carlton. They took some time to kick their first goal, but probably the score doesn't reflect how tight the contest was. 6-4-40, the Lions to 2-6-18. Carlton, Sabrina, um, Sophie Conway was pretty important with two match-winning goals in the end. Yeah, it's pretty special. She's one of the youngest in the team and, and to see her really thrive and um, get the goals that she deserves. She was in the contest the whole game and it's good to pay off in the end with a couple of goals. Lauren, how did you see the match last night? It was, was fiercely contested, wasn't it? And there was a bit of emotion in it. It was, yeah. It was a pretty dour first half. I don't know whether you girls found that. Of course, both teams, you know, it was hard to break through for either side. But it seemed to be, Caitlin, when you guys sort of took the game on with a bit of flair and managed to break down the Blues tactics. Of course, they had a couple behind the ball, and I know you did on occasion too, but once you broke them open, that was when the goals came. Yeah, it was hard, obviously, in the first quarter. It felt like they had an extra five people on the ground. Um, but yeah, we've worked hard during the week with our forward line sort of stuff, because um, last week I think that's where we struggled a little bit more um, around the ground. And yeah, when we once we broke it open, um, I felt like we had a little bit of breathing room, but never thought we'd had the game. Um, even in the last quarter, I think it was a goal um, at one stage. And then, yeah, um, luckily enough, we got a couple of extra goals in the end. And, yeah, it was a good result. Sabrina obviously fell short to Ellie's Bulldogs last week. Did you feel like you had a little bit of a point to prove? Obviously, in such a short season, you probably couldn't have afforded to drop another one. Oh, of course not. I think, yeah, because it's a short season. Every game's like a grand final, and you really have to go out there like it is a grand final. So it's pretty intense, and you have to put your whole body on the line. I think we did that this week, and I'm pretty proud of the girls. How vital is it having Kate McCarthy in your team? Her run is just massive. You know, her ability to break lines is really good. Um, you know, how good is she in your team? Oh, she's, she's amazing. Like, um, she always does that, obviously, run and bounce. And, you know, that first 20 metres, she's, it's hard to catch her. Even at training, it's hard to catch her. And, yeah, she's been working really hard on her disposal as well, which is really good because that's um, exactly what we need. Sabrina, how have you been feeling this season? Obviously, having Taylor move to the Blues, you're now the lone forward, or lone key forward, I should say, tall there inside 50. But it seems like you're really relishing it. Yeah, I mean, this week I had Bella Air join me, which is pretty nice, actually. But I think my game has changed a bit more because we have a young forward line and a very small forward line. As much as I am a key forward, I think this time around it's more about protecting those players and letting them have a go at it. You spoke uh, 
in the paper during the week about the work that you did in the off season. You're pretty determined uh, by the sounds of it. Yeah, I mean, I want to get better, and, and for the team anyway, I always want to be better for them so they can rely on me. So um, I've just been working on my off field fitness and swimming and Pilates, and it's really done me some really good things. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks to be paying off. <laughs> Caitlin, three touches last week, tagged, and you were disappointed with your performance, but great to see you bounce back last night. Yeah, um, you always get a little bit disappointed when you get taken out of the game. But, um, yeah, I obviously put last week um, in the back of my mind and um, obviously came into this, this game really fresh. And obviously it's a home game for me, so I wanted to do my family and friends proud. And, um, yeah, I think I, I did that. Taylor Harris, one of your former teammates, had some interesting things to say during the pre-season about your club being chilled. Uh, let's have a listen to Taylor in the pre-season. So when I walk into the club, I'm already excited to be there and I'm happy I've had a good day, like I've done something new. Whereas in Brisbane, I suppose I was kind of in, in a bit of a rut. I'd rock up to training not in a great mood and then it would kind of just, it'd be like that the whole session. Brisbane, the way it is, is and everyone knows, like it's, it's a bit chilled and I liked that at that time. Now I'm here, I'm 100% understand that it's professional all the time. Sabrina, you played in a grand final last year. Were you and your teammates offended by those comments at all? Um, I think it can be misinterpreted. She obviously said that um, her approach to the training wasn't great and, and Brisbane itself is chilled, which is true. The environment is very chilled. But I think for us it works, so then we can turn up to training and really concentrate and use all our energy in that. So, I don't know, I think it's kind of been misconstrued. But, um, yeah, it was, it, it was her comments, so, yeah, can't really talk on that. Caitlin, was there a little bit of extra feeling last night? We saw Leah Kasler go to Taylor before the bounce and there was a, a, looked to be a little bit of attention given to her. And then, of course, we saw the vision earlier of, of the, you know, Taylor's apparent hit to the head of Leah. Was there a little bit of extra fire last night and did you happen to see the incident? Um, actually, I was the one standing over her. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> but, um, no, she was obviously just going to punch the ball. Um, she got tackled, she's trying to get it out. And um, I think that's what it looked like to me anyway. Um, but, you know, you come up against Leah Kasler and it's always going to be a tough match. Um, obviously, everyone looks from the outside and, and thinks, obviously, Taylor's playing, it's going to be that sort of game. But, nah, Leah does that week in, week out and shouldn't look too much into it. It's just the game of footy. Well, we've already given her a week on this panel, so, <laughs> so we tend to disagree with you. Let's take a look at the votes last night as voted by AFL Nation at Tire Power. Get the power to buy three and get one free on selected Falcon tyres. Lauren, some pretty impressive performances last night. Yeah, Kate Watkins was absolutely fantastic and Emily Bates chipped in with six tackles of her own. Jamie Stanton was fantastic and Nat, the mullet Exxon, not the first <laughs> mullet to run around on Princess Park. She was absolutely fantastic and Ali Anderson too. So a full board of lions there. And Ellie, you and uh, Caitlin know each other pretty well. Have you got any dirt on her for us? <laughs> oh, not too sure um, about the dirt on her, but mate, you played for the Bulldogs previously in the exhibition games, as we can see in the photo. Oh. Right at the <laughs> any, any chance of a comeback to the dogs, mate? Ask for a trade? <laughs> look, we do look really good there. But, uh, <laughs> I think I look better in the Lions colours. <laughs> You'd probably look better in the Lions colours as well. <laughs> and you understand you used to go for the Tigers as a kid, yeah. so it's probably been a pretty good six months for you with the boys winning the premiership there, but we oh, like to stitch no. people up on this program. Some pretty cute pics of all three of you, actually. So you're obviously a tiger. Yeah. I think, Sabrina, we've got some pictures of you oh, here playing oh, for the Peel oh. Thunderbirds. A little bit of a different look with the hair there. And then, Ellie, I understand you're a Saints supporter <laughs> too. So, obviously, Ellie, um, Saints are coming in in a couple of years and obviously, Caitlin Richmond. No chance of a, uh, a team change? No, not at the moment for me. Pretty, pretty content with the dogs. Yeah, I'm pretty content as well. Like, obviously, grew up barracking for the Tigers, but... Yeah, no, I love the Lions. Oh, Brisbane through and through. <laughs> now, we just mentioned the hair there, Sabrina. It is a bit of a trademark of yours. Can you just talk us through the braids? I understand it takes a hell of a long time to get yeah, done. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it takes about six hours to do, but um, I don't have to do anything for four months, so it's pretty nice <laughs> to just rock up and look like this every day in one month. Um, but, yeah, no, it takes a long time, and, and my hairdresser, you can see there, uh, I've known her for a very long time, known her since I was 14 years old, so she's watched me grow, and every time... I come in every four months um, I have a new story to tell and it's pretty exciting. 